Hey guys, I hope you guys are having a happy Halloween today. I'm just going to film a very quick video on this Katy Perry inspired um, makeup look. And I know I haven't been making videos in a very long time and it's because I'm really busy. I really don't want to make up excuses because it probably sounds stupid but I've been really busy and I hope you guys can still like have some patience with me. I'm going to try to film more videos this weekend because um, I have like a little more free time because I have like Tuesday off too. So I'll try to film videos then and yeah, you guys enjoy watching and yeah. So the first thing I take is this, this white NYX eyeliner pencil. Use any white eyeliner pencil you own. This obviously has to be in white. So all I do is just I take it and I put it in my inner corner. I don't know if you guys see. I'm looking down because I'm using a mirror. But I just put it in. And it doesn't have to be like perfect because you're blending it out. So just put it in. And all this does is it pops the colors in your eyes and also whitens up. No, whitens. Lightens up your eye. And just blend it in like that. And now I'm going to take this Revlon um, Color Cream Eyeshadow in Wild Orchards. In Wild Orchards. I don't know what it says. That. Oh, right there. And I'm just going to take it. And I'm just going to take this light color right here. So it's the s s color right here. You guys can see that. And I'm just going to take it using my finger. And you can use a brush if you want, but using my finger is much more easier and quicker and easier to blend. I'm just going to put it all over my lid as like a base. You know, I already have a primer down. It's the Urban Decay Primer Potion. You can use any primer you want. And you don't want too much of this um, co um, base color. Just one a little. Focus it mostly in the inner corner. And just put it all the way up to your crease. Like that. So yeah. Just want to blend it out. Mostly in your inner corner. And now I'm going to take my Coastal Sense um, 88 palette. And this is in the... Um, original one. Oh, every time I use this, everyone always asks, like, is it the shimmer or the matte one? And it's, uh, it's neither. It's the original one. So, yeah, you can get this on CoastalSense.com. And the color I'm going to take is this color right here. This purple color, which is this one, two, three, four, four down, and one, two, three, four, five across. So four down, five across. I'm just going to take that purple color right there. And it's like there's other purples on the bottom, but that's like the only one near like in the middle of the blues. So it's just that color right there. And I'm just going to take it on my brush. Like so. Tap off any extra. And then just put it all in my... Um, mostly my inner corner and basically into my crease hope you guys can see this and just like that now the next color I take is also going to be in this palette and it's this first silver color on the top so the first silver color which looks like this and it's on the right side the first silver color so I'm just going to take my eyeshadow brush and just tap it in tap off any extra and just put it in two thirds of the way and mainly focusing in the middle and outward, not too much in the inner corner. Don't worry about the lines right now, we're gonna blend it out later. But yeah, that's all you need to do. And now I'm gonna take this color from my CoverGirl um, 
quad and it's in Ice Princess. And But if you don't want to go out and buy this little palette thing, you can always use this color right here, which is in the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, eighth column, second to last color. It's a pretty close color, the one I'm using right now, that one right there, that dark purple. And it's pretty close to this color, I would say. So you can always use that instead of this. But I like using this better. And yeah. Just take some on a brush. Tap on the extra because the this kind of does have a lot of fallout, but I just tap off any extra. And I just apply it to my outer corner. Mainly focusing on the outer corner. And some in the crease, like up to the silver. Don't worry if it looks too heavy right now, we're going to blend it all up after. And now I'm just going to take a smaller brush like this, right here, like the one I use for the silver, and I'm just going to get some on this brush and bring it down to the bottom. Like that. And don't worry if it looks too heavy right now. We're going to blend it out and stuff. So now I'm just going to take a thicker brush, not thicker, a fluffier brush like this, and just blend out all my eyeshadow. And if you do want to deepen it out more, you can always use a darker purple or a black eyeshadow. But I like it light, and she has it really light in her too. And now I'm done with my eyeshadow, so now I'm just going to take an eyeliner, and I like using gel eyeliner, and this is the gel eyeliner I bought from Coastal Scents, and it's just a true black, it's kind of dry, so if you guys know any tips for it to like, not become dry more, like someone I was reading online, it said like to put it in the microwave, but I don't know if it's safe, and I was reading someone's comment to put olive oil in it, but I don't know how safe that is too, so... If you guys know any ideas for this, please let me know. I've used a little bit of it, if you guys can see. But I want to use it more, but it's kind of dry, so yeah. So now I'm just going to take my eyeliner brush, and I'm just using this thin eyeliner brush. And I'm just going to take some on my brush and apply it. Hope you guys oh I hope you guys can see it. But I'm pretty sure you guys know how to like the gist of applying eyeliner. Just do a line. But her eyeliner in the video is not too special. It's not like a cat eye or whatever. It's just like eyeliner on the top. And she does the whole eye. And if you don't like doing the whole eye, you can always do like two thirds or halfway. So I'm just gonna take some more eyeliner because I didn't take enough. And now um when you do your eyeliner especially focus it on the outer corner because the island is really thick out there and yeah that's what I'm going to do right now hope you guys can see focus mainly mainly on the outer because it's wicked like thicker so yeah so now I'm just gonna do the same to the bottom eyelash and just go two thirds away. But if you want to go all the way, you can. If you don't want to apply it, you can. But she has it mostly just two thirds of the way. Hard to talk when I'm doing it, but just apply two thirds of the way like I just did right there. And yeah. Video, she wears fake eyelashes, but I wear fake eyelashes because I'm going out after this. But you definitely can if you want. Um, but so now, since I'm not wearing fake eyelashes, I'm just going to take my eyelash curler. And it just looks like this. It's a Sally Hansen eyelash curler. And I've had this since like a couple months. And I really like it. I'm just going to curl my lashes. Hold it in for about 10 seconds. I don't know if that's too long or not, but I like it for 10 seconds. I'm going to move up a little. 
and then yeah and now I'm gonna f apply my favorite mascara and this is the point do is apply I'm gonna look at the little screen on the side cuz I don't feel like holding up a mirror and yeah and you apply it on its left on your brush to the bottom lashes like that so that's all I do for the eyes so in the video it doesn't look like she's wearing much bronzer her skin's pretty pale in it so I'm not going to use bronzer but if you want to wear a bronzer I would just wear like a nice little light bronzer like this hold on and it looks like this it doesn't have much shimmer in it it's pretty matte I would say you can see a little shimmer in it but it's not like they look like a disco ball so you can use that but in the video she does have color in her cheeks so I'm using this um, blush and it's the dream Muse blush in 40 plum and if you have lighter complexions you can definitely use a lighter color because this might be a little dark for you but when it's on my skin I'll swatch it gives me a very nice color it's shimmering stuff and it's like a plumish color so I'm just gonna apply a little and I'm just I'm just gonna apply it up. Take some more, sorry. I'm gonna just apply it like that to give me a little color, but not too much. In her and on her lips in the video, she has like this nice, pretty kind of nudish color, I would say. So I'm using like this Lancome Juicy Tube in Peach Plum. And I'm just gonna hide on. basically the look in her video I absolutely love her videos so if you guys haven't watched it go watch it I've watched it like a hundred times and I love her hair too but this videos are way too long to do a hair tutorial but if you guys want to see that please leave a request below and I hope you guys have a happy Halloween be safe and enjoy eating all the candy because I know I will so I'll talk to you guys later bye